Hi there, my name's Ryan. Uh, this is a follow-up. Uh, this is a uh, regulator out of a 1972 Ford Mustang that is malfunctioning. Uh, in normal times, it has 12 volts in and then pulses uh, 12 volts out at a 50% duty cycle to give you five or six volts uh, that run these kinds of an instruments. But this is misbehaving and it's more than a week to get a new one in. So I was curious if there was stuff around the shop here that I could use to um, get it working temporarily while the new parts arrive. And I had an old jig here where these are the plug them into the DC voltage cigarette lighters and produce output. This is one that has a 9.5 volt Sony, uh, but I actually had one that had a five volt output uh, from Samsung. And so what it is, I cracked it open uh, the device. Uh, thank you, Samsung. It's got a 700 milliamp uh, maximum output, which I think is just enough for what we need here. This is the innards. Um, this is where the 12 volts normally goes in when you plug it into the cigarette lighter and then there's grounds there. So I've got 12 in and ground there, which this guy's feeding right now. Uh, the amperage is nominal, uh, less than 100 milliamps at 12 volts. Um, so that's our input. Now the output here is five volts-ish. I'll double check that in a second. Uh, we're using the same ground. Um, and again, this still can deliver 700 milliamps rated off of this device. So what we're doing now is we're testing and we're running this five volts, six might be ideal, um, into our little instrument array there, where our regulator normally plugs in there as the input. And we're looking at our fuel gauge and lo and behold, we have nearly a full tank. The other side of this goes out, out to the sensor and um, at highest level, uh, the sensor will return a, I believe, at the lowest it'll zero ohm, at the highest it'll be the highest impedance. So the voltage drop across here will vary. Um, and now uh, as the impedance uh, in the tank um, grows up, the voltage drop on this gauge will go down and uh, this will, the gauge will drop. So as you run out of fuel, uh, more of a voltage drop in your gas tank than on the gauge and that's why your gauge goes down. Anyways, um, th this is drawing about 170 milliamps, 160, 170 milliamps. So if the other two gauges that this feeds are about the same, uh, we should come in about 600 milliamps. So this device temporarily may be able to drive our instrument panel. Um, so what could go wrong, but we'll try it and uh, we'll see how it goes.